Hey guys, it's Julie's back here with another video. It's gonna be another week in the life of a nursing student. I know I haven't recorded in like a while. I know, y'all. School has been schooling. But I'm gonna give y'all an update and you know I'm gonna run the week by you guys and tell y'all all the good news that has happened while I've been MIA. And yeah, so let's just talk about it. So the last week, um, I think that I recorded, I was getting revalidated on my med administration. I was giving medications and I was telling you guys all about that. So I don't know if I told y'all, but we had three validations throughout the semester. So we had vital signs. Um, we got validated on medication administration. So our intramuscular, sub-Q, and oral medication. And then we also got validated on our NG tubes. So I did not record me getting validated on my NG tubes. A lot of students, well, they pushed our date for our NG tubes because it really, really was supposed to be like next week where we got validated or something like that on the calendar. But they pushed it, pushed it forward, so we got validated early. And a lot of students, they did. We did it like during our practice, where we were practicing in class. Validated on NG tube, so I know how to insert and take out a nasal gastric tube, and I passed that with flying colors. And that was probably the easiest skill, honestly. Yeah. So I also was telling you guys that I was looking for a job. And your girl got a job, so I'm actually going to be a patient care tech on the PCU floor. So it's the progressive cardiac unit floor. So the type of patients that will be on that floor is patients with heart issues. Explained that they're getting patients with lung problems, so pulmonary problems as well. So it's like both of those type of patients. So that's actually interesting so i'm really excited to start i start later this month and you guys in the summer you guys are gonna get vlogs of me being a patient care tech down icu so when patients are getting better then they come to our floor and they have heart problems or pulmonary problems and they come to our floor or start off and if they i guess like deteriorate then they'll go to ICU. So I'm happy. I'm just happy that it ain't med surge and I'm into a specialty. Oh yeah, I got a job as a patient care tech and I'm really excited. I know the summer's coming up, so I'm thinking about getting two jobs. I don't know if the other is gonna be on another floor, but I'm thinking if it is, then I kind of want to apply for like something like with the women because y'all know i'm very interested i love my women i love us labor and delivery or something like that and it's crazy because i actually got called and she was like oh what are you looking for but my school schedule didn't work with what she was looking for but i believe it was for labor and delivery so all of that i'm interested in as well that might be like another job like working that on like a labor and delivery or like a NICU floor mother baby when i graduate that's not really something that i'm interested in and people are like oh you love women you love babies why not do that i think i love women on the level of like i'm helping deliver their baby or i'm helping their child get better in on the NICU but yeah we'll see it probably won't even be like a nursing type job my other job that i decide to get and around the week by you guys so today i picked up a shift on my agency app that's why i have scrubs on because i'm about to go to work in a few minutes i just have, have to throw on my shoes but yes so i decided to pick up a shift it is a 3 to 11 shift and y'all have school tomorrow at 8 a.m but we go do this. I'm gonna like talk to you guys throughout the day because I'm going to assistant living. Typically, assistant livings are super smooth. Like the patients, they have their little, they have their little apartments, and you kind of like clean them, you feed them, you get them ready for bed because they will be in bed at eleven o'clock, eleven o'clock p.m. That's when I get off. So 
it's gonna be a long shift but jaleese need the money so i'm just happy i picked up a shift but i love i love old patients i don't think i i i feel like i told y'all that i really love older patients and i really love women not all women because i know how some of us could get but for the most part i love women so i'm happy to be working with my older people again because i haven't worked in a while tomorrow i have my simulation so this is my second and last simulation of the semester we only had two so our first one was the patient had pneumonia and he had i believe ronchi in his lungs so we had to sit the patient up and have the patient cough um and then it cleared so that was really nervous now this patient when i just did like the priest simulation work patient she had like a hip fracture and we had to get her vital signs assess her pain do like a skin assessment and teach her about fall risk and i think about turning her so we had to reposition her and assess her like iv sites on the simulation i think i already said vitals and assess her lungs to make sure they were clear but yeah so tomorrow we have our second and last simulation and then after class guys it's my last clinical for tuesday because you know my group my clinical days is tuesday and my like skills lab or simulation day is monday will be the opposite day so after class i'm gonna run a target and probably like Publix. i'm gonna get my clinical professor some flowers and get her some get her some flowers and then get her a candle and then on amazon i found this keychain because i wanted to i know she has a card uh, i wanted to get her something that she could kind of keep and i feel like that would be cute to go on a keychain and it has this beautiful note so when it arrives it arrives today i'm just gonna have my mom look out for the package but when it arrives today um, I'm going to show you guys um, probably tomorrow because I'm not going to probably want to talk tonight since I do have to be up at 8 a.m. for simulation. I'm going to show you guys tomorrow and I'm going to show you guys me packing her little goodies. And I might, if I'm like running on good time, I might get like the nurses um, some donuts on the floor because they were just really good notes nurses so i might get some like donuts um for like the the nurses because honestly they were great i've worked with some amazing nurses so yes much yeah i might cut the vlog off tuesday so yeah but i'm gonna talk to you guys probably when i get to the facility all right y'all so, <coughs> so I actually made it, but y'all, I made it to where I work. I don't have to be in there until 3. I get off at 11. Y'all, the drive was something. And I'm going to be working memory care. If y'all don't know what memory care is, because I looked on the app and it said MC. And if y'all don't know what memory care is, it's, um, you're working with, like, patients that got dementia and stuff, so. Yeah. And I'm just kind of tired, bro, like. I need gas. Ugh. I gotta be up at eight. Like, I'm just contemplating, was this really worth it? Or should should i have picked this up saturday the memory care but this app trip and talking about i live i'm literally outside i'm not going inside until three o'clock i'm not nope but i will be clocking it early so they don't even count your break they take it out of the amount that it says you're supposed to get paid i don't like that because my break needs to be included in that amount okay i'm super tired I don't know why I'm tired. Today, because we have a project this week, today, while I'm at work, I'm about to do my 
part on that project. We don't have a project. It's just like a little assignment. We we got endometriosis, which is a condition that happens to women. Um, and I have to do like the risk factors and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna research that while I'm at work today. Since so I won't be doing that. Oh yeah. It's actually really good. It's warm too. Got my H two O. I don't want to talk to y'all about. But yeah, I told y'all that I'm gonna get some footage for y'all. But like those patients, like I don't know if I'm gonna have time to really record because those patients maybe walking what they wanna do. They got dementia as well, but yeah, I don't know if I can record. I'm gonna try to like talk to y'all throughout the day. But I just, and I hope they don't give me too much patience, but I just hope it's smooth. I hope it's smooth, I hope it's clean in there. Yeah, I ain't trying to work too hard for my little money that I'm getting, cause I did come far. But I'm gonna catch y'all later. Hey y'all, so I'm sitting in my car on my break. And uh, it's been a lot. This facility actually was super chill though, their memory care. Cause y'all know if y'all ever worked like memory cares, the memory cares be like nursing homes where all the patients has wheelchairs. But for the most part, it was like three of them that really had wheelchairs. The other ones, they were walkers so it was easy to put them in the wheel in the bed and one one of my wheelchair ladies she could walk she was just a fall risk so that's why they kept her wheelchair but i put her quick she had a little coffee that her husband bought her and yeah y'all i love memory care um i love it when it's like walkers though because it kind of keeps you like engaged where you're not bored because the patients they be telling you stories y'all yeah but my patients they're in the bed i only need to change one of them before i go because she hasn't peed all day on my shift so and i need to put like one of those chug pads up under her but for the most part everybody's clean everybody's good i have hold up I have like 2 hours and 30 minutes left on my shift. And then y'all gotta drive an hour back home. Y'all probably like, are you drove an hour? No, uh, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday. I forgot the date, so let me check. Okay, it is April 15th. Simulation, I'm sorry y'all can't see me. Trying to rush out of my simulation, so yeah. Okay, you know, I got my little handy dandy converse by my simulation today. So, so my actual like when I was explaining the gift that I got my for my professor, um, it came. So I'm gonna show y'all that when I get home later today. But I am gonna go over and take it, my professor. I mean, my clinical, yeah, my clinical preceptor. Or clinical instructor some flowers and a candle like I said so yeah um, yeah and I'm running on good time I, I went to sleep at like 1 1 30 so 2 3 4 5 
I had about like four hours of sleep. It's twenty five dollars a line per month for four lines. Find us at Walmart and StraightTalk.com. For network management practices, visit StraightTalk.com. Family plan discount with four lines, all on the silver. Okay, y'all. So I'm about to start driving. My school's hours seven minutes away, so I arrive at like six, seven forty. I don't have to start until eight o'clock. And I think I'm actually about to run back in my house because I want me up here. Cause yeah, I get real, real lightheaded doing stuff like working, working, working. And I don't have food. I begin to feel like I'm about to pass out. So let me be right back. I have my hair, but I'm gonna get started driving, and I'll talk to y'all when I'm in my school. I might show y'all some footage of me driving when I'm halfway there, cause y'all know I drive an hour in my school. We already noticed. Um. So yeah. So I will see you guys later. I also think I might go stay to the library for like maybe like two hours and then drive back home. Yes, I want to do my part on my like group project that I have. I want to do my part on that. And then uh, we have a paper um, and we're talking about, well, my section, well, all of our section, it's like four of us. We're talking about pro-life versus pro-choice. Y'all know I'm all for whatever the patient wants. Because, I mean, you never know nobody's situation. So, I'm all for whatever the patient wants. I feel like, you know what? We ain't even going to get into that. We ain't even going to get into politics and religion and all that. Um, yeah, so my patient, my part is advocacy and the ethical dilemma around the whole controversial topic because it is a controversial topic i think everybody even people that aren't into nursing they know that it's so controversial so mine is basically about like advocating for your patient um and i think dignity is what i got dignity um, human dignity and advoc advocacy or whatever so I'm gonna research a little bit on my section um, so I can like start writing my portion probably like two paragraphs or three paragraphs probably like three but yeah I will see you guys when I get to school bye hey guys so I am at my school I'm gonna take the elevator to the second floor and get started on my simulation hopefully the elevator works oh, it works <sighs> um, but I just had to quickly look at these me medicines so anoxaprel is to prevent blood clots docusin is a stool softener and the rest are opioids for pain management so guys, I am out of simulation, and simulation actually went well. Basically, we got a patient. Her name was Edith Johnson, my girl Edith, and she had right hip fracture. I think she just got surgery on it, and she had a wound. Like she had dressing, so they gave us a report on that. She had pain medications, and we were supposed to do assessments, pain, patient teaching, vital signs, get the vital signs, everything. So, yeah. Everybody kind of, like, there was four of us, and we just like somebody was in charge of doing the assessment somebody vital signs somebody teaching and somebody medications so that's kind of like the roles that we decided to do so all of us came in there we like introduced ourselves um and then i asked her can she say her name date of birth and then vitals she had not vitals name date of birth allergies and that told her for her pain and y'all, I said, could you rate your pain? And they were like, oh, on what scale? Like, they were talking through the mannequin. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Can you rate your pain on a 0 to 10 scale? I should have said 0 being no pain at all, tame and the worst pain you ever experienced in your life. So you got to give them the scale. 
I don't know why I decided to do that. So she rated it at A, and then we basically got her vitals, and she kept repeating. They were trying to get her medications ready. She was like, oh, like I really need to be turned. I think we did look at her dressing. And I think before we gave her medication, we looked at the dressing and the order was to reinforce, but you had to call the provider before you did anything. So one of the girls, she called the provider and he was like, okay, go ahead and reinforce it. So we like just put new bandages like over the drainage since more drainage had come out and stuff. So, yeah, then she kept asking, they were getting her medication ready, she kept asking, oh, I really need to be turned, like, I, I don't, I just really need to be turned. So me and one of my classmates, we just looking at each other like, let's go ahead and turn her. Yeah, we tried to turn, she's like, ah, 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 ah. So I'm like, oh my gosh, we were supposed to give her the pain medication before we turned her. So then we gave her the pain medication. Then we tried to turn her again. She kept saying it, y'all. It was an um, abduction pillow right in the corner. And we literally overlooked it. That's why it's best to observe your scenery so you know everything. So we had to put that on because she just had the hip, um, hip fracture. So we only turn her on her left side. So we put that on before and then we decided to turn her and then we reassessed her pain. She rated her pain at three, so it had went down and we had to do like some patient teaching. So we taught basically about when we got as far and report on the patient, the patient lived in a two story home. So we basically said that um, it's best for her to stay on that first story so she doesn't have, have to climb those steps and it's easier for her and also getting a high seat toilet so she's not squatting I think it's a certain amount that you have to squat so you're not squatting all the way down and causing more injury to the hip and then also turning the patient heaven maybe her husband or somebody turning her every two hours so she don't develop any pressure injuries and then teaching about the incident of spirometer incentive spirometer and how the patient needs to cough so all of that literally had to teach about and yeah y'all as i'm talking y'all telling y'all what we did in simulation my group we were like kind of all over the place we made errors but it's always best to take this as like a learning a lesson so that's basically what i took this as um it was interesting yes so i'm out of simulation i'm actually going to the library because i have i want to get two assignments not two assignments i want to get one assignment done and then i don't really have nothing else to do but i'm gonna stand up let me over i hate when people don't let you over um stay for maybe like an hour and a half and then go to Target and Publix to get some flowers and like a cute candle. I'm gonna get a candle with like a beautiful meaning on it and then when I get home I do want to show y'all the keychain that I got her and I might go to Dollar Tree to get like a gift bag and that is pretty much it. On it so she gave like us like a little over break. My section is the past history and psychosocial history and I include the risk factors for this. So, yes, yeah, what I'm about to do. I'm probably going to stay here until like 1030. So basically what I had to do was like my portion of it i had to do the past history on in endometriosis i had to do the psychosocial history appropriate it appropriate and then include risk factors for endometriosis but basically they came to the conclusion that minimal invasion for endometriosis was the best so lap 
microscopomy. Um, let me actually search that up. I actually am interested to know what that is. So, used to like, I guess, diagnose endometriosis and I guess like it helps remove it. So I think that's what the surgery is. And then we need us to know the psychosocial history. So when I searched this up, it just said that it's associated with depression, anxiety, and reduced quality of life due to the pain that they're experiencing. It, experiencing, And then risk factors, I had to do the risk factors. So that is like, risk factors are things that can cause it. So they can be like modifiable or non-modifiable. So like non-modifiable is like, there is a family history. Um, you have a seven to 10, you're seven to 10 times greater than somebody that doesn't have a family history. So if endometriosis runs in your family, then you're 7% out of 10, seven out of 10 percent. You have a seven out of 10 chance of developing it, I guess. Um, and then experiencing longer menstrual periods that last more than seven days and then having shorter monthly cycles so i guess 27 days or fewer between your periods and then early periods if you have a period like before the age of 11 and infertility all right guys i got her gifts i got a candle i forgot what that's about i said flowers that is crazy because she's actually Indian. And this is Hammond, India. And this is really cute. Right? And then it's this little tea cup thing. This is so cute. I'm like, I should have this for me. These scrunchies because I thought they were cute. And like nurses, they need to tie their hair up. So I got that. And this, so I'm going to light the candle on it. I got this candle. And this smells so good. I hope she likes it because this is like, I like to give people what I would get for myself. So I'm actually I'm not going to wipe it. I'm going to wipe it. I'm going to sit in there. And oh, this is so cute. I can write a little note. Okay, guys. So I am back home. And I have my Amazon, which I'm going to show y'all. It's my first time. Lord, I hope Amazon do not play with me. Don't play with me, Amazon. Guys, so this is cute, isn't it? So it says, behind every nurse who believes in themselves is a nurse preceptor who believed in them first. And I know I'm not a nurse. Relax. I will be in one point, what is it? 1.6 years. Um, one and a half years, basically, because I am basically done with first semester but this is so cute and it has that nurse like symbol and this i just love it and it just says thank you and this is like keychain this is really cute so you know i'm going 80. <laughs> this, this is how i end up coming out of a tissue paper it is wrapped it is ready to go you see the queen but yeah it's ready i just have to write on it and i'm gonna write on it later tonight it says to and from and yes that is it hey guys good morning it is i think the 18th today let me see it's the 16th not the 18th my brain was telling me the 16th but my mouth said the 18th so y'all I didn't even get the donuts, um, but it's fine. I got my clinical instructor here. But I'm just going to write on the card before I get out. Um, I'm about to say from Jalees. No, Shiny. Um, shiny. And I'm gonna write just a little note. My little note, it says, thank you so much for making my clinical experience so great. You have taught me so much and I admire how you know so much surrounding the human body. You are amazing and a great nurse and I wish you the best. And that's it, too shiny from Jalees.
and that's like on my little card um but yes like i'm about to head out i am in the parking garage and <laughs> y'all i have cramps and i don't think i have any pain medication uh, like something told me to get it i didn't but i'm gonna hop out because it is i want to get up there it's 6 24. i really wanted to go downstairs and get me some breakfast so i might do that in their breakfast area because i didn't eat nothing so i think i'm gonna go downstairs and get me some breakfast but yes guys today's gonna be a great day it's the last day so we gonna make it the best and they partner me i i partner up with my girl they try to keep us separated, but it's cool. I peeped. But, yes, let's get out the car and start walking. Hey, y'all. So, I am at done with clinical. Last day. So, I'm done. I'm happy. Thank you. Yeah. They fed us some food. Yeah. They fed us pizza and they had like brownies for us. So, guys, we're done. I gave my clinical instructor Hercus. Drive home is an hour 17, so I'm about to drive home. But I will be closing this vlog out because there's nothing else to show you guys. But I really hope you like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what videos you guys want to see from me. Again, I am going to do a day in the life when I do my head to toe assessment in the last week of school. I will vlog like my last week where I have exams and like what I'm doing to study for my exams. If it's interesting though, because I don't like to just like not have like a productive week and like record videos or like if I'm super stressed, I don't like recording. I would just rather like focus on, you know, making good grades. But yes, that concludes the vlog. I hope you like, comment and subscribe. And yes, we're done. So I have my Wednesdays free, but not really because I got to take the ATI. I got a final for wellness. I got uh, exam five for patho and exam four for wellness. And then I have a paper due, which I'm going to do this weekend. It's just too much. So much. But thankfully, we're done. It's just exams now. But I'm going to start studying for my exams. And that's pretty much it. Bye, guys.